Kingdom Animalia has three evolutionary trends, symmetry, cephalization, and specialization. Primitive animals exhibit what's called radial symmetry. Radial symmetry means that you can slice the object into radial parts, such as an orange, and you can cut it into pieces, and each of the pieces are symmetrical, meaning that they look very much alike. You can cut a pie into symmetrical parts too, because a pie is radially symmetrical. It turns out that invertebrates, such as sea sponges and jellyfish, exhibit radial symmetry. The other kind of symmetry happens in complex animals. They evolved later. They have bilateral symmetry. The easy way to look at this is a human face, where you can divide that into left and right mirror images. A human face and a human body is bilaterally symmetrical, and also other vertebrates, and also invertebrates. The next kind of evolutionary trend is known as cephalization. This is the tendency to concentrate nerves in the head region. Primitive animals have no head and no nerves. A jellyfish has only a neural net that is evenly spread out throughout its entire body, and a sea sponge has no nerves at all. Contrast that with complex animals, and they have cephalization. They have more nerves in the head region than in any other part of their body. In particular, vertebrates even have a brain, which is a great concentration of nerves in the head region. Interestingly, nobody has, an ant has nerves in their posterior end. The next kind of evolutionary trend is known as specialization. Primitive animals have no specialized tissue. A sea sponge has only the kinds of cells that allows it to filter feed. And a jellyfish has a simple neural net. Complex animals have highly specialized tissues. An octopus can present with for example, eyes and gills and stomach and chromatopores. Vertebrate animals have lungs and hearts and brain.